Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and like the video if you want to see more English Dofus quest videos. And if you do, I promise to give you one gobble skin or something like that. Anyway, more importantly, onto the video. We have done the, we've completed the three previous quests. The last one we have to do is solve Cindy Cat's problem. So we come to 5 minus 17 and we talk to Cindy up here. And now we have to solve her problem. So we have to beat the thieves. Now this one is a little bit harder. We have to get a box of knickknacks. Now it's recommended for level 40. You have to be a minimum of level 30. Now what we have to do is there's two ways you can complete this. It's either you can go and do the kick roaches lair or villain sent hideout. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced, but to do either of them, you need to go and buy a weapon so you can actually make it yourself. I'll show you the recipe. So you need one ball fabric, magic famished sunflower petal. Uh, which I believe is from the um, the field dungeon, so you can do that. Black Gobble Brain and Darret Hair. Now, I've already went and bought one because they're about 10,000 karmas. I figured that's probably a bit of an easier option. And what happens is, once you do that, I'll show you on my screen here. You can see I'm about the same height as this any. Put this on. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but you do go a little bit smaller. So you can either do kick roaches lair, or there's a few different options. Uh, so what we can do is we can go to the jewelers workshop, the council tower, or a different option. So we might go and have a look at the. Um, remember, if you're not sure where you are on the map, you can over here on the right hand side. You can display my position. So we might go down to the jeweler's workshop and I'll show you a little secret. So you must have that item equipped to be able to do this. So we'll just work our way down. We have to take 15 box of knickknacks to Cindy. Now to do that we have to fight some kick roaches in their lair. Uh, or in the villain sanct spawns. So, once we're inside the jewelers, we'll go up the stairs, and now remember, we can use the Y key to see the interactive items. So we can see there's a little mouse hole here. So we click on the mouse hole, and we're teleported to an interesting little area here where we can fight these guys and start to drop the box of knickknacks. So what I'll do is once we're inside I'll go back to my Aquadala staff and I'll start fighting some of these guys and come back once we've got our 15 box of knickknacks. Okay I'm finally there. It took me a while and luckily some level 200 was also doing the quest so that made things a lot quicker so quite fortunate for me so I have 14 and all I have to do is kick this guy's butt and then I'll be finished so I might might play my bag how much he's got three so I might move to let him come up a little bit closer and then start hitting him when he comes here now I can see him I'll try and keep my distance as much as I can just to avoid losing unnecessary health. Internet's running slow again, of course. So he'll probably be close enough to start using this. So I'll be able to kill him next turn. X 
excellent. So that was my last box of knickknacks. So we can go back and take the 15 box of knickknacks back to Cindy. There was also, uh, I'll let you know, the hideouts you can go to 1 minus 16 inside the grocery store click on the barrel but you have to be in progress or finish the miniature adventure quest so I can't do that one the other one was inside the council tower which is uh, where this one is here so you go to the second floor and you click on the mouse hole you can click the Y to find it another one is inside the jewels workshop which is that first one second floor click on the mouse hole and the last one, if you don't want to do the dungeon, is at 6 minus 21 inside the right house. And you click on the mouse hole. So, now that we've done that, we'll give the boxes back to Cindy. Take the key. So now we go talk to Igor. And we'll be finishing the street fight quest. And we'll also be getting the achievement. Um, which is Mercenary of Steel. So we'll go inside the militia. Talk to Igor. Report. Keep listening. Follow. And yeah, so I'm not sure if that pops up on the screen if that records, but we've finished the street fight. And we also get the achievement Mercenary of Steel. So you can see here, it's pretty good experience. We've got another couple levels. And we've also got the level 60 achievement as well. So now uh, we don't actually have any quests at the moment, but what we're trying to do is get the achievement of the Astrubian Trek. So we'll go to our achievements. I'll minimize this one because we'll finish that. So you can see we've done the Opportunity Max a Thief, which you can see on my YouTube channel. I've done all of those ones. I've done the Great Libra Riddle, Mercenary of Steel, we've just completed. There's no time to relax, we've also completed. We've completed Urban Living. So the last one we have to complete is the Getaway and Ambushes. So there's uh, what's that, six quests we have to complete. And then we'll also get the Astrubian Trek achievement which is pretty good at 1.4 million experience. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move on to the getaways and ambushes and hopefully get through that pretty quick. You can see we're at 71% of the quests in Astrup. And once that's completed, then I guess we'll move on to some other quests. So coming up next will be these ones here. So. Be sure to stick around and watch them also.